This video is in two parts. In the first part, I'll go through a word problem that will illustrate why the invert and multiply method works for dividing fractions. In the second part, I'll go through another word problem that will illustrate how to divide decimals. Okay, so let's start with this word problem on pizza. So, suppose the cheese needed for two thirds of a pizza is half a cup. How much cheese do I need for the whole pizza? So I've got a picture of the pizza down here that we'll keep referring to so that uh, we've got more of an intuitive feel for what's going on. So, first step is to translate the word problem into an equation. So let's state the problem again. Suppose the cheese needed for two thirds of a pizza is half a cup. Okay, so I could write that as two thirds times the amount of cheese I need for the whole pizza is equal to half a cup. Okay, so I've got my equation and now I'm gonna turn it into a division problem. So the way to do that is to divide both sides of that equation by two thirds. Then the two thirds over here will cancel out. And on this side, I'll have a half divided by two thirds. So on the left hand side, I'm left with the cheese for the whole pizza. And on the right hand side, I've got a half divided by two thirds. So now I've got my fraction division problem. All I need to do now is to solve this. Well, let's think about how to solve it by looking at the picture. Okay, I've got half a cup of cheese that I need to put on two thirds of the pizza. So what if I took that half a cup and put half of the half cup over here, in other words, a quarter cup and another quarter cup on this piece. Okay, then I'll have put half a cup on two thirds of the pizza. So if I've got a quarter of a cup here and a quarter of a cup here, if I put a quarter of a cup here too, I'll need to put three quarters of a cup of cheese for the whole pizza. Okay, so let's just uh, write that here so we remember what we did. We put a quarter of a cup here and a quarter of a cup there. Okay, and we got the quarter cups by dividing the half cup into two. And then if I take my half a cup and multiply it by three, because I've got three thirds, I'll get three quarters of a cup and that's the amount of cheese I'll need for the whole pizza. Okay, so what did we do up here? Well, we took our half a cup of cheese, we divided it by two, to get a quarter of a cup, and then we multiplied by three to get the amount of cheese I'd need for the whole pizza. Okay. But what am I doing here? I'm dividing by two and I'm multiplying by three. So I've got a half divided by two multiplied by three. Well, I could rewrite that as multiplying by three and dividing by two doesn't matter which order you do that in. So if I multiply by three and divide by two, that's the same as multiplying by three over two. Okay, multiplying by three over two. But look, that is the invert and multiply rule right here. Okay, the way that invert and multiply works is you take your second fraction, your divisor, which is two thirds in this case, you invert it to make three over two, and then instead of dividing here, you multiply. Okay, so that's what we did down here, multiply by three over two. Okay, so we've essentially used reasoning to figure out the invert and multiply rule. All that's left is to solve the problem, but it's easy to multiply fractions. You just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, 
and simplify if needed. Okay, so numerators are one and three. One times three is three. Denominators are two and two. Two times two is four. And we can't simplify that any further. So there is our answer. Three quarters of a cup. And that matches what we got down here when we reasoned using the diagram. Okay, so this is an illustration of why invert and multiply works when you're dividing fractions. In part two, I'll talk about dividing decimals.